Hello dear friends, welcome back. Today the recipe of the day is curry, which is usually called the curry with the pakoras. It's all time favorite, but not uh, so many people they are used to of making it because of two, three different steps. So today I'm gonna uh, share the recipe that how I learned to make this. So for the first step, what I do is I have taken um, the Danon whole milk uh, plain yogurt. I'm gonna use three cups, baking cups of yogurt, around five to six tablespoons or three fourth cup of gram flour, which is basin, and two medium sized onion to blend it together and make a paste of it. So first let's do this step and then come to make the masala of it. So in the blender, I'm adding the basin first which is the gram flour and then adding the yogurt so if we are using this it is around 32 ounces or two pounds of yogurt i have used half of this which is one pound of yogurt half the container of this yogurt it's in here with the gram flour which is five to six tablespoons so now using this cup it is eight ounces and it's a measuring cup. I'm adding one cup of water in this and half of it more. Half cup more. I'm also adding the two medium onions and now I'm gonna make a paste of it. Blend it together. So friends, I have blended it all together. I don't know if you can see the light yellow color of the mixture. So the measurement, one pound or half kg of yogurt and five to six tablespoon of basin or the gram flour and a big onion uh, cut into pieces or two medium onions to make the paste and blend it together. Um, so this is step number one. Step number two is, now for step number two in um, less than half a cup of oil, um, I'm adding eight to ten um, seeds of methi dano here they are and then i'm also adding a pinch of white zira which is white human seeds to it and then fry it for 30 to 40 seconds get on the stove let's have this mix it also add the curry pata in it which i added five to six so now I'm adding slowly the, the blended mixture of the yogurt and the gram flour. I'm gonna add two teaspoons of red chili powder and half teaspoon of haldi powder, which is turmeric powder. And then mix it all together, medium high flame. To avoid the mess, you can also add the ginger garlic paste um, after adding the yogurt mixture. That's I have learned. Because when we added the ginger garlic paste in hot oil, it will just start flying here and there and making the stove a little messy and it's dangerous also. So, add this. And as soon as you will add the yogurt mixture, with the red chili powder and the turmeric powder you will see that it will start getting thick so we have to add four cups of water to it while mixing it on medium high flame so i'm adding four cups of water to it and then mix it friends it's been five to six minutes i'm using this whisk to just um, keep stirring it and if you think that the consistency of your curry is a little thick you can always add one glass of water or one and a half according to the thickness at this point we have only added red chili powder and turmeric powder to give it a yellow nice color. We never add the salt uh, to the recipe or this mixture earlier, always in the end. The reason is we want the yogurt to 
cook well before adding the salt to it. And now I'm going to check the consistency. A little thick. I'm going to add a glass of water to it, which is eight ounces, and then lower down the flame to medium low, and then I will cook it for 40 minutes. So let me first get a glass of water. So I'm adding one cup of water. to cover it and then set the timer for 45 minutes on medium low heat so friends after 40 to 45 minutes have a look this is the consistency which we want everything looks cooked together we have not yet added the salt and i have turned off the flame after 40 to 45 minutes we don't want to cook more than that and now I'm gonna cover it leave it aside and the flame is off and now I am preparing to make the pakoras and for that what we need the ingredients are so friends to make the pakoras for the curry I have everything just um, taken out from the cabinet here it's one and a half cup of besan gram flour I'm using half teaspoon of white cumin seeds which is zero then a pinch of hing which is compounded as a fatita, which is hing i am also using one teaspoon full of red chili powder you can adjust it accordingly but one teaspoon full of this and then we will add half teaspoon of haldi powder just to give it a good color over here i have two green chilies and then some mint leaf it they give it a very good taste and uh, after adding those i have one medium sized onion cut into omelet style pieces and some salt i'm going i'm going to add one teaspoon of salt and this is it now we have to uh, mix it into a batter not too thick not too uh, runny and then make a mixture so in this mixture i have added half cup of water and uh, i think i have to add one tablespoon more and then mix it and i also have to add a pinch of baking soda not more than a pinch otherwise it will absorb too much of oil uh, while being fried and it will get too soggy so here i'm adding just a big pinch of baking soda adding to it mixing it with the batter to make the pakoras um, just light and cloudy in taste so leave this mixture on the kitchen counter just like this for a few minutes and as I have turned off the flame for the curry, I am going to add a teaspoon or 5 ml of salt, which I'm adding to the curry mixture. Over here, it's ready. I'm adding it to the curry. And half teaspoon more. You can also increase or decrease the amount of salt as per your taste. So friends, in a frying pan, I have added some oil and now with the spoon, I'm going to add some pakoras. So they can just retain their shape. I'm going to add these pakoras like this carefully on medium. Now very gently I am going to turn it turn all of them so friends have a look the pakoras are ready over here so the rule to add the pakoras to the curry is that one thing should be of room temperature at that point while I was frying the pakoras my curry was a little warm so I just took it out a plastic basket I'm going to add it in a while once the curry is at room temperature. I'm preparing the tempering which is the baghar. 
over here in the frying pan i have six tablespoons of oil you can reduce the amount of oil as per your taste one medium onion cut into slices a pinch of hing white cumin seeds half teaspoon few curry leaves and red butter and chilies so I have added just the white cumin seeds, which is a sofet zira, the white zira, and the onions to get a little golden brown in color before adding the pinch of hing, red button chilies, and the curry, the curry leaves. So all the pakoras are in the curry now, and over here I am frying these onions. I am um, giving you a tip if you guys like it you can add lemon juice or lime juice according to your taste I have added one tablespoon of lemon juice at the very end and a pinch of garam masala powder so these two things are optional it just gives a kick to the curry so friends this is the final look of the curry with pakoras hope you all have enjoyed this recipe Please give it a try and enjoy this recipe with your family and friends. Don't forget to kindly subscribe my channel, like and comment below also. And till next time, take good care of yourself. See you guys soon. Goodbye.